Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some kitchen sets from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so you're notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers are able to take a look at the different sets to determine which one they'd like to purchase. And the first set we'll be taking a look at today is the Gourmet Kitchen Set. It was released in 2016 and it was a part of the Truly Me line. When it was available at American Girl, it retailed for $225. So all I need to do is remove the packaging from the set so we're able to take a look at some of the items. Here we have the first five items. There is some baking oats, apple cinnamon stars, so that's cereal, and there's an image on the front of the box too. There's pet food, brown sugar, and baking soda, and I love how all the boxes are different sizes to make them look as realistic as possible, and they're made out of a lightweight paper material too. Let's take a look at some dessert items. There's a total of four chocolate chip cookies and four brownie pieces. There's icing sugar on top of the brownie pieces and there's a brownie pan too, which holds all four items. This set does come with a toaster and a bread pan, two items that are very common within a kitchen. We also have a loaf of bread and two slices as well, and all the items do fit within the bread pan. But the toaster is quite interactive as well. The two slices, a part of the loaf of bread, do fit within the toaster. So I'm going to add both pieces to show you what that looks like. There's two different compartments to add them. Then you can push the lever down to make it look like the bread is being toasted, and when you're finished, you can press the button, and then they'll appear back on top. So I'll just add them both to the bread pan so you can see that they fit, and then there's a third slice so you're able to complete the entire loaf as well. There are a total of two types of fruit included in the set. There is a set of blueberries and strawberries, and there are two teal containers that match so you're able to store the items away. Here we have a pot and a pan, and they're very lightweight, so they're easy to carry around. The handles are really brightly colored to match some of the other accessories included in the set. Here we have some bowls and plates. There's a total of two bowls and two plates. I love the design on the plate itself, and the color of the bowl is so pretty, and we have the American Girl star in the middle of both items. I do have to say the bowl is quite small compared to the plate itself. And following along with the bowls and plates, the set does come with some forks and spoons too. These items are probably the most realistic items included in the set. We have some flour and sugar, and it's clear, so when you shake it around, you can see the powder moving as if it's real flour and sugar. There are labels on the front to describe what the item is, and both items are really great additions to the kitchen set. Up next, we have some vegetable oil, milk, and eggs. There's a total of six eggs a part of the set. The lid can be open and closed, but the eggs are not removable. And here we have the salt and pepper shakers. The salt is styled very similar to the flour and sugar where the powder moves around. Next, we'll be taking a look at the whisk, the spoon, and the spatula. There is a small opening at the bottom of each item, so you're able to display it within the kitchen set. And even though the spoon in the middle does look like a wooden spoon, it's actually made out of a plastic material. These items are really great to have when baking and cooking. So first off, we have some measuring spoons. There's a total of three and they're all different sizes and they're all held together by a clip. There's a butter knife in the middle and that's quite heavy compared to some of the other items. And then we also have some measuring cups too. These items are a lovely addition to the kitchen set. So first off, we have a recipe box that opens and closes. It says my recipe box on the front and it stores away the different recipe cards. In the middle, we have a marker for the board. And then the last item is some recipe cards and they actually have recipes inside that you can try and recreate in your kitchen. There are a total of eight spice jars. They're all identical. They're clear with a blue lid on the top. There's a sticker sheet so you're able to label the different spice jars. And there's also some stickers for the board that's a part of the kitchen set. And then there's also two clear cups as well. And here we have some dough, a rolling pin with the classic American Girl star design on the side, and a butter dish with a lid. Here we have a yellow plastic mixing bowl and a baking tray. It's so great how these two items match. There's the apron and the hot pad. They're light pink with a polka dot design. The apron does have Velcro, so it's easy to open and close, and it says American Girl in the front. This item is also interactive. It is a stand mixer, and then when you add batteries to the set, it really spins. It also comes with a mixing bowl, and there's an indent at the bottom of the set, so you can add the mixing bowl. The mixing bowl itself is clear, and there's a handle on the side, so it's easy to attach and remove. And here's what it looks like when the mixer is spinning within the mixing bowl. So I'm going to remove that attachment and add the second one, so you can see that there's a total of two different options to choose from. It is really easy to remove and reattach the different options and I'll add the mixing bowl and I'll turn it on so you can see exactly what it looks like. So here we have the kitchen set itself. It's a gorgeous light blue color and it's made out of a wooden material so it's quite heavy. It is quite a small set itself and there's different compartments to store away the different accessories too. 
There's also some shelving units in the middle and over to the side of the kitchen set so you're able to store away different accessories. There's an oven door which opens and closes that's really great for the cookies and brownies and there's a fridge which is clear so you're able to see what's inside. So now it is time to set up the gourmet kitchen to see if all of the items fit within the set itself. So this drawer at the top will be really great for the cutlery so I'll be adding the spoons and the forks. And what's really great about this kitchen set is that there are so many different ways to display the different items so you can choose to style it however you'd like. But for the shelving units over in the middle of the kitchen, I'm going to be adding the cups to the top shelf and over on the bottom shelf, I'm going to be adding the plates and the bowls on top. So now it's time to see if the baking tray does fit into the oven. I've added the four chocolate chip cookies on top of it and they all fit onto the tray which is great to see. I'm adding it into the oven now and all I need to do is close the door. Over to the side we have the fridge. Let me go ahead and open up the door so we can add the different items. So over on the bottom shelf I'm adding the fruit, the strawberries, and the blueberries. And over on the top shelf I'm adding the eggs, the milk, and there's some room over at the front to add the butter too. And once the butter has been added, I'm able to close the door. There are two shelving units over to the side of the kitchen to store away some of the larger items. So over on the top shelf, I'm adding the toaster. And then as for the bottom shelf, I'm adding the mixing bowl. And right behind the bench, there is an opening for the stand mixer. It fits perfectly, but I won't be storing it there for now as I'll be displaying it on the kitchen bench, so let me move it out of the way. Over on the side of the kitchen, there are quite a few different features. So first off, there is a hook, so you're able to attach the hot pad. That's really great because it's over to the side. This compartment does actually open up and it's meant to be for the dog. There's a water section and a food section and both items are removable from the set. I really love how it's a light blue color to match the rest of the kitchen set so you can choose to have it displayed or else you can have it stored away. I'm going to have it displayed for now and then there is also a bell on the top. I'm going to remove the packaging and it actually makes a bell sound. The kitchen set does come in multiple different pieces so you do have to set it up yourself but it is quite easy. You just have to find the particular attachments and you have to attach it to the kitchen bench itself. So the first item I'll be organizing is the pantry. It is a really nice size because you're able to display multiple different items. There's a total of three different shelves. So over at the top, I'm going to be adding the cereal box, which is the apple cinnamon stars and the baking oats too. I also like how it's clear so you're able to see what's inside of the pantry without opening up the door. It matches the fridge, which is directly down below. And there is enough room over towards the front to add the baking soda. It's quite small, so the box will sit there like so. Underneath that, I'll be adding in the brown sugar, the vegetable oil, and then over on the side, I'll be adding the flour. And for the last shelf, I'll be adding the sugar over to one side and the recipe box over to the other side. The board is located over to the side of the pantry. It has a grocery list listed out. It says bananas, chocolate chips, and it also has carrots and celery at the bottom. The third item is actually milk, but they have it crossed out. I think that makes it look more realistic. You can't actually write on it, but I'm just going to add the marker over in the holder. There is enough room over to the side of the pet items to add the pet food box, and then there is a hook at the back for the apron, and it fits perfectly. The next item I'll be placing down is the pot, and that can go on the stove, and I'll also be adding the spoon too. And an item that is missing over to the side is definitely the sink. There is a compartment just behind it, so you're able to attach the tap that is included in the set. I just need to move it over the top of the sink, but you can move the main tap around, and there is a clip that holds it in place too. Over towards the back of the kitchen, it is looking quite empty because we haven't added one of the attachments yet. So I have it right here. I'm placing it into the compartment and this is a really great space to display some of the different spices that are included in the set and the salt and pepper too. There's an attachment on either side so we're able to display the rack over here. This is really great to display some of the kitchen wares. There's hooks all across the set, both front and back, so you're able to display all the different items. So let's add a few of the kitchen items to see if they stay in place. So first off we have the measuring spoons that can go over to the side. Then we have the spatula. I really love how there's an attachment on top of each item so they can be displayed or else you can store them away within the kitchen set. So the next item we have is the pan and then the whisk and then the last item we'll be adding is the measuring spoon. So over here we have the sticker sheet. It's really great how you can personalize the set however you'd like. So there's the stickers over at the top so you're able to design the spice jars. I've already done all of them except for the last one. I've already picked out a sticker so I'm just adding that to the front. And then the other stickers are meant to be for the board that I showed earlier. This section of the kitchen will be perfect to display all the different condiments. So first off we have the salt and pepper shakers. Then I'm just going to add the rest of the spice jars throughout the set. 
There is quite a lot of space on the bench to add the different items, so on this side I'll be adding in the bread pan with the butter knife. And then over on the other side I'll be adding in the stand mixer, the brownie pan, and then right in the corner the dough, and finally the rolling pin too. And the section behind the kitchen will be a perfect place to add in the chair. The chair itself is quite a heavy piece, but it's a lovely light purple color, and it has a lovely design on the back of the chair as well. I would definitely recommend the Gourmet Kitchen. It comes with some really great items and I would have to say the quality of both the kitchen and the accessories are really great too. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the American Girl Kitchen set. It was released in 2020 and it's a part of the Truly Me collection and it retails for $275. This set is more expensive than what the Gourmet Kitchen was, but I do have to say it has a lot more interactive features. But I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me this set. So let's go ahead and unwrap all of the plastic and the different items who are able to take a look at some of the pieces. I have just removed the packaging from the set and the kitchen is separated into two different pieces. You have the island on one side and that has the sink and storage area and then you have the main kitchen itself. You have the stove, the oven, and the refrigerator. So I'm going to be showing all of the different accessories while setting it up. So let's start off right at the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this section over here. The handle is gold and the set itself is a lovely light purple color. I love the pastel theme and then there's a small section to store some smaller items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the flour and sugar. The first item is the flour. It has a gold lid on the top and it says flour written on the front. But what's interesting about the set is that the powder actually moves around to make it a little bit more realistic. And then the next item here is the sugar. It's in a blue container instead of a pink and it's exactly the same. You can see the powder move around and I'll just add it right next to it. So here we have the fridge open. We've got the door on one side and then we have the shelving units on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the attachment to the door so I can add in some condiments and some smaller items. So that's really easy to attach like so. The first item is the milk. It's 2% milk and there's a handle on the side so it can be easily held onto. I'll add that over there. And then the other item is some maple syrup. You can see it's clear. And over on the front, it has the maple syrup logo, and there is a pink lid as well to match the milk. So I'll add that right next to the set. There are also some ice cubes a part of the set because there's an ice dispenser feature. There's a total of two. They look so realistic, but I'm just going to add both of those in. And I'll be showing you how the ice dispenser feature works later on in the video. But let's keep setting up the rest of the fridge first. And I'll just be adding some classic items that you do normally see in a fridge over on the top shelf. The first item we have are some eggs and they're free range eggs. There's a total of six in the set and it says organic eggs. The container does open. You can see that they're all inside, but they're not removable. And I'll add that over on this side of the fridge. And the next item that we have here is cheese. And it's in a block that can go right at the back. And then the last item is some butter. And it looks like there are some slices on the side and then the rest is all stuck together. And it comes on a pink tray. And then there's also a cover as well. And that can go right in the front. So let's add the second compartment to the fridge door and it's the exact same as the one on the top except it's located slightly lower. And the item that I'm going to be adding towards the front of the fridge is some ranch dressing. It's very lightweight and it has a green lid on the top. And here we have some items for the middle section of the fridge. The first item is a box of bacon. It says fully cooked and it's made out of a paper material. It is very lightweight and over on the back there's a barcode, there's a photo and it says naturally smoked and gluten free and I'll just be adding that over towards the back so we can add some items in the front. And the next item I'll be adding in is a pitcher of lemonade and there's a handle so it can easily be held onto. This last item will actually go into the bottom compartment of the fridge and it is a bag of garden salad. There's a picture on the front and it says fresh. It has fluff inside of it to make it look like it is full. And this will be the perfect item to go along with the ranch dressing. So I'll just open that compartment and I will add it in and there's plenty of room to add more items too. So here we have the freezer. It's really easy to open and close. There's a gold handle on the top to match the fridge and it completely removes from the fridge itself. So here we have a pizza box. It's wood fire pizza and it's Mediterranean. We have an overview of what the pizza looks like. This is what the back looks like. The box is really realistic and there's a barcode in the corner. And then there's an ice pop maker as well. There's a stand and it's easy to remove and attach. And then there's a small little piece on top of the ice pop so it sticks in place and you can remove it from the actual container itself. There's a total of four different flavors to choose from. So there's a yellow one, a pink one. There's also an orange one. And then finally, a green one right in the corner there. And I'll just add those to the freezer and they should be able to stay in place and you should be able to close it as well. I'll close the freezer and we have that finished. 
There is a small little shelving rack at the top here to display seasoning items like salt and pepper, so that's what I'm going to do. The first item we have here is pepper, and it's mainly silver. The next item is salt, and it's very similar to how the sugar and flour is styled. You can see that the powder does move around, and it's clear, so you can see what's inside. And we also have two more seasoning items. The first one is paprika, and that's in a red jar. So of course, that's the color of paprika. And then we also have some cinnamon as well. Those two are essentials to have in your pantry. I just need to add the second one like so. And I really love how there's multiple different hooks at the top here, so it's easy to display some cooking items, and they're easy to grab while cooking. So first off, there's measuring cups, and they're so pretty. There's so many different shades of blue, so it's darker at the bottom, and it goes to a light blue. And what's interesting about these items is that the measurement is written on each handle, so you know which one is which. Just to make them as realistic as possible, so this is the one cup, you've got the half cup, the third cup, and then the quarter cup as well. So that can go along there. But that is quite hard to hang, so I'm going to hang it like that because all of them kind of stick together. Up next, there are the measuring spoons. There's a total of three. It's very similar to the blue ones, except they're pink, and you can see they're all different sizes. And what I'm going to do is I'll attach it right next to it. There's also a cheese grater, and there's a total of four different sides to choose from. Very realistic from the real cheese grater. That can go right at the end. And the next item that I'll be attaching is a whisk. It's a lovely peach color, and there's a small section on the top so it can be attached to the hook. And the last item is a spoon, which is essential for cooking. The pattern on the back of the kitchen is really pretty. There's purple and pink, but there's also gray and green as well, so it matches a lot of the accessories a part of the set, and it also matches the pastel purple that's used throughout the main kitchen itself. The stove is so interactive in the set because each one makes a different sound depending on what item you add. So the one at the front makes a sizzling sound for eggs. The one in the back makes a sizzling sound for bacon as well. This one makes a kettle noise, and then this one is for boiling water. So I'll show you all of the different sounds. First off, we have the fry pan. It's really pretty light pink color, and it has a gold handle. It's surprisingly quite heavy, but I think it's so that when you add it to the stove, it automatically makes the noise, because if it's too light and you add it, it won't make the noise. So let's add the egg in. The egg is just made out of a plastic material, and it just looks like a classic fried egg. I'll add that in, and then here we have the spatula. It matches the pink fry pan, which I love, and I'll just place that so that is on top, and I'll add that to the front. And you can hear that that is a sizzling noise. I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to switch it, and I'll add the bacon, and the bacon is made out of plastic material again, and I'll add that to the fry pan, and we'll put that to the back. And you can hear that they both sizzle and they sound similar, but they do sound slightly different. So you can hear one is meant to be for bacon and then the other one is meant to be for eggs. So the other two are interesting. This one in the front is for the kettle. And it's so cool because it actually sounds like a kettle, which is so great. And then there's a handle on the top and it's a mint green color. And then the last item is for boiling water. So I have the pot. So it's so great how there's a total of four different sounds, and I really love how they're all different, and you can style it however you'd like. And right below the stove, there's a total of four different switches, and they all rotate, but they don't activate any features. But the button in the middle does activate the color-changing feature on the oven, so let's take a look at that. So the oven is a gorgeous teal color, and then there's a handle on the top, so it's easy to open and close. It is surprisingly very easy to open and close. And then there's a small little rack at the top, which is removable, and you can adjust it to the second row as well if you want, so you don't have to have it right at the top. I'll leave it over in the second row just to give it more room, and then we also have this bottom section as well. So there's a total of two interactive pieces that are for the oven. The first one is the pizza. And I showed the pizza box previously, and it came separate from the box. You didn't have to take it out or anything. And then there's also a tray, so it's easy to carry, and there's handles on either side. And then we also have the pie as well, and that comes in a container itself. It matches a lot of the other items in the set. There's a half piece, and then there's two quarter pieces, and they are removable. And you can see that they're a very bright yellow color. And you can see the topping looks really delicious as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this one to the top, and this pizza item to the bottom. I'm going to close this and I'm going to press this button on. And you can see that there's a timer and it becomes a light blue color if you can see that. And what it does is it looks like it cooks it and then when the timer goes off, you can take it out of the oven and it looks like it has been cooked. So that didn't take very long at all, so I'm going to remove the pie from the oven. 
and you can see it looks like it has been cooked. It completely changes. That's so awesome. And here we have a photo showing a comparison of what half the pie looks like before you add it to the oven and after. And as you can see, there is a major difference. That's so interesting. It actually changes the whole thing of it. I'm not sure if this one changed. I think it did. I think you can see it looks like it has been cooked. It's quite hard to tell, but it does look like it has changed. So here we have the pizza cutter. It does spin and it's a lovely addition to the set because it matches the pizza and a lot of the other items in the set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this small storage compartment unit and I'll add that and I'll close it like so. So remember when I put the ice cubes in the fridge earlier in the video? Let me show you how that works. So there's a small little dispenser at the front. There's a section to add your cup. There's a total of two cups in the set and they look identical, but I'm just going to be using one for now. And there are two buttons at the top. One is for water and one is for ice and they make the sounds as well. So this one here, is for water if you can hear that. And the other one is for ice cubes. So what you can do is you can add your cup in and then the ice cube should fall in place. And then while you're doing that, you can also press this to make it sound like the ice cube's falling. And then your cup is completely full. And then you can repeat the whole process by opening it back up, adding the ice cubes, and then adding your cup again. The second item we have here is the island and it's the other main feature of the kitchen set. I love how this is marble on the top. It makes it look so much like a kitchen, but it is made out of plastic material so it is completely safe. There's a sink in the middle and then there is a tap. And I just attached this. There's a small little attachment so it's easy to add and you can move this from side to side and remove it as well so it's easy for washing. I'll add a few smaller accessories to the top here. First off, there is a bowl and this is a classic decoration bowl. And we also have some lemons. They're all clumped together so you can't remove them, but they do look very realistic. And the next item that I have here is the mixer. It's a lovely teal color. And what's interesting about it is that there's a total of two different options to add. So it depends on what you're baking. There's a small clip on the top. You can attach it like so. And then there's a mixing bowl as well. I've already added in batteries so it does work and you can just press the button and it makes the noise as if you're mixing it. I'll remove that and I'll add the other one in and it should make the same noise and make the exact same action as well. So I'll add that in and then I'll press the button. And that can just sit over on the side here. Over in the front, I'll add the market list and there are multiple different sheets so you can write on it, you can write your grocery list and there's a checkbox to see if you've collected those items and I love the floral design on the top and the bottom. I'll add that just sitting over here and then on the other side, I have a plate. There's a total of two in the set but I'll just add one there with a pancake and there's a small butter piece on the top. There are two drawers, one on either side so you're able to place cutlery and maybe even like the pizza cutter that I added over in the storage section on the other side so there are a total of two knives and two forks and I'll add those over in this section and then on the other side I'll add the two spoons and they're right over here and over in this bottom compartment there's a huge section to display multiple different pieces and I love how there's shelving units there so there's a total of two and then there's a section to block this in the middle so on one side I'll add the pancake mix and we have nutritional information it's surprisingly quite a heavy set. Feels like the item is inside, but it's obviously not. We already have the pancakes over there. And the next item I'll add is the pot because that's currently not on the stove right now. This section is also a really great place to display some cups. So I'll add both of those in. And then the last item over on the other side is the plate. That's the spare one I didn't use on the table. There is a small little hook in the corner here so you're able to attach the hot pad and this is really great especially if you're using the oven so you don't get burnt. There's a floral design and that matches the cushions that's a part of the tea time table and chair set and there's a lovely pink design over on the side. There's a small little attachment so it can be attached and we can just place it like so. And here we have the back of the island. It continues on with that light purple theme and there's a storage section in the back so that's really great to store away some of the larger items like the mixer. I love the detail that they've added over on the side of the island. It's so pretty and in case if you're wondering that's actually made out of plastic and the rest of the structure of the set is not. But I will add a few items here. First off we have the cloth. It's pink and there's some detail on the front 
And the other item I'll be adding here is a small calendar and you can write month of and then you can write the month and you can just write a small little checklist. And over in the back, there is a sticker compartment so you can attach it to the freezer, but I won't be adding that for now. I'll just place that over there. There are a total of three hooks so you can display different aprons on the main kitchen set. This set does come with an apron, it's so pretty. It has that same floral design to match the table and chair set. There's Velcro on the top and also Velcro on the back as well. And American Girl is also selling an apron set separate if you'd like to purchase that as well and you can add that to the kitchen too. And the final addition to the set is the rug. It's such a pretty pink and purple color and there's a lovely floral design on the front. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. It is so interactive and it comes with so many different features. I love the oven and how it changes the color of the food to make it look like it has been cooked to make it as realistic as possible. And comparing this set to the Gourmet Kitchen set, they both have a lot of similarities. I would have to say the Gourmet Kitchen set is probably better quality and it had a lot more accessories, but this one is a lot more modern and I love how it's separate so you can style the kitchen however you'd like. The next set that we'll be taking a look at is Blair's Family Farm Restaurant. This item was a part of Blair Wilson's collection and she was the girl of the year for 2019. When it was available at American Girl, it retailed for $300 and it's quite a large set. There's a section over at the front which was the restaurant part with the table and the chairs and over in the back there is a kitchen set up. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me the set so I'm able to open and review it. Let's go ahead and unwrap all of the plastic and the packaging so we're able to take a look at the different items. Now that we have opened up the set, let's take a look at some of the smaller pieces first. So we have a couple of food items because this is Blair's Family Farm Restaurant. So let's take a look at some of the small appetizer pieces. So over here we have some cranberry avocado bruschetta. You can see it's a cranberry on the bottom and we have some avocado on the top. And this over here is stacked tomato caprice salad. You can see it's all stacked up with some tomato pieces on the top. We also have a block of cheese. Another appetizer here is the homemade cornbread and it looks really delicious and I also love the tray it comes with. It's such a pretty teal color and what I really like about the tray is that the cornbread is not stuck to it so you can take it out and you can use it for other baked goods and you can place it inside and everything fits really nicely. It's now time to take a look at some of the entrees. So here we have a baked pumpkin and what's really fun about the piece is that you can open it up which I was really surprised about, and you can see some more items inside. Some more entrees that are part of the set include some grilled salmon with wild rice and dill, and that looks really delicious. And over here we have some pesto pasta with Swiss chard, and I wasn't sure what this piece was, but when I realized it was pasta, you could definitely tell. And of course, I can't forget to show you the dessert. So over here we have some strawberry lemon cake and finally some chocolate ganache ice cream and there's a small little strawberry on the side and the ice cream definitely does look really realistic. And the reason why I knew all of the different food pieces is because I was reading off of the menu. There are a total of four that come in the set and they are perfectly miniature sized. So here's the front of the menu. It says Pleasant View Farm Menu and this is what the back looks like. We have the appetizers, entree, and dessert. And I love how some of the pieces listed are actually a part of the set. Right here we have four dinner plates and four dessert plates and as I show you more items you can definitely tell the theme of the set is this pastel blue color, a pastel purple and copper which I absolutely love. They're such gorgeous colors so I'm really excited about that. So let's take a look at these four plates first. As you can see they're a lot smaller and they're a really pretty copper color and they also match the cutlery which I'll be showing you next. We also have these plates which are really lovely too. You can see it's really bright and then it's just plain white in the middle and I also love the copper touch on the side. And to match the copper plates we have four forks and four knives. Let's take a look at some of the kitchen utensils. So first off we have a cheese grater and there are a total of four different sides. We of course have a mixing spoon and a knife. To match the copper theme that's a part of the set, the saucepan is copper and there's such a pretty purple design on the front and there's some lovely flowers which matches some of the other pieces that are part of her collection. And then we of course have a fry pan too. This piece is a pitcher and it looks like there's some pink lemonade inside and the set has four glasses. There's two yellow ones and two bright pink ones. Some condiments that the guests might need at the restaurant include some olive oil, salt and pepper. These items are really pretty. They're a lovely mint blue color and we have a flour canister and a sugar canister. This item says it's hand-picked fresh eggs and there's six large eggs inside and when you open it up, three of them are green. 
And in order to decorate the table, I'm so excited they included this bouquet of flowers. It's so pretty and it matches the cups that are a part of the set. We also have a really lovely vase and it's really cute because it's not just a plain mason jar. We have a lovely little bow in the middle. I think these pieces would have to be my favorite items so far that are part of the set. We have two string lights and they're so cool, they're so different from any other item that American Girl has released. And there are hooks that are part of the set, so you attach it from one side and you can place it. There are a total of two and I love how there's two smaller ones rather than one large one. They also look really realistic and they're definitely very rustic. Let's take a look at the poster frames and the poster. I'll have to attach this to the main part of the set, so I won't be placing the posters inside, but you do place them from the top here. There's a small hole, and there are two posters, and they're double-sided, which is really cool. I love this one. It says, Made with Love, and it looks like it's a chalkboard, which is very fun, and the other one says, Welcome to our farmhouse. On the other side, we have some vegetable theme posters. So this one says Farm Sweet Farm, and there's a lot of veggies around it, which is very fun. And this one has a picture of four carrots. One item you can't forget to include in a restaurant are placemats. There are a total of four here. Two of them are the same, while two of them are different. This one is so pretty. It's a lovely green color, and there are some flower designs on either side. And these ones have some veggies on the top. And if we take a look at the other side, this one at the top has some gray stripes. While this one is definitely very floral themed, it's very similar to this one, except it's purple. And just before we take a look at the larger pieces that are part of the set, there's a sheet of stickers right here. As you can see, there are quite a few to choose from. The first item we'll be taking a look at from the larger pieces is the table. It's definitely really lovely, and it suits the other items in the set. And up next we have some seats. There are a total of two benches and they're a lime green color. They're also made out of a lightweight plastic material too. In order for Blair and her family to cook, let's take a look at one of the kitchen pieces. And I really like how it's separated from the main piece so you can move it around. It's not stuck to it. We have a cupboard right here and there's three different shelves. There are also two ovens over to the side and both doors do open and close. You can also turn these from side to side, which is really nice, and it's definitely a very sturdy piece. The back is also really pretty. It says Pleasant View Farm. And the next piece we'll be taking a look at is the sink. It's really lovely. I love how there's a marble style on the top. The sink is right here, and it has a copper tap, which you can remove, and you can move it around and place it back there. You can open the side up, and there are some more shelves. And if you take a look at the back, we'll just move it around. It says Pleasant View Farm again, just like the other one. This is definitely a really fun piece, so Blair and her family can take food out to the guests that come to the family restaurant. It's a small little trolley. There are two wheels in the front, and you can wheel it around, which is a lot of fun. It's a really pretty light purple color, and you can remove this tray on the top if you want to, or you can place it back. There are two smaller shelves underneath, and it's just definitely a really nice piece. These three items will need to be attached to the main house structure later on so we can turn it into the family farm restaurant. So now it's time to build the family farm restaurant to see how easy it is to set up. So I added the flooring right in the middle there and I'm just adding the attachments over to the front so it stays like so. The next step is to set up the food with the different items. So I'm doing entrees for a lot of the pieces and I'll be adding the cups too. So I already placed down the placemats, the plates and the cutlery earlier so it'll be a lot easier for the main setup. I really love how all the different items do match and it all has that floral theme. It's so perfect for the setup. And the final item I need to add is the flower and vase. And there is a vase over in the middle of the table. I'll just be adding in the benches and there are attachments on either side of the family farm restaurant over at the top so I'm able to attach these lights. Over to the back of the restaurant near the kitchen there is a counter and that's for the food that's about to be served to the restaurant so I'm just adding some ice cream and some cake too. I've just added the trolley over to the front of the restaurant. Over on the bottom shelf, there are some food items. In the middle, there's the menu. And then over on the top, there's the pink lemonade, the olive oil, and some condiments too. It's really great because you can choose to display the kitchen however you'd like. You can have it over to the back of the restaurant or else you can have it over to the side. I have it to the side so you're able to see the set a bit clearer. And it seems like everything does fit really nicely within the kitchen. And I'm just adding a few accessories over to the side. And here we have an overview of Blair's Family Farm restaurant. I do have to say it was very easy to set up and organize. We have all of the food items displayed on the table with the bench on either side. I really love how there's the flooring just below the table just to make it stand out from the rest of the set itself. 
So here we have the kitchen section of the Family Farm restaurant. As I said before, I really like how you can choose to style the kitchen however you'd like. You can have it behind the restaurant or else you can have it over to the side. Personally for me, I prefer having the kitchen over to the side because it definitely extends the whole setup. Overall, I would definitely recommend Blair's Family Farm restaurant. It does come with some really great items and it definitely suits the rest of her collection as well. And the next set we'll be taking a look at is not an entire kitchen set, but it's definitely a part of a kitchen setup, and it's Mary Ellen's refrigerator and food set. Mary Ellen is a historical character, so it is a part of her collection. It was released in 2016, and when it was available at American Girl, it retailed for $150. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories. So the first four items we have here are soda bottles. It says soda on the front and they're orange flavored. And up next we have a total of four plastic butter sticks and it says butter written on the front. The next item we have here is a gelatin dessert. It's a bright red color and there are some details on top of it. There are some mint leaves and cherries. There's also a light blue plate and the item fits on top perfectly. Up next we have two containers of milk, it's clear so you're able to see what's inside and there's a silver lid on the top and it has pasteurized milk written on the front. Let's take a look at some food items, so first off we have some cooked ham, it is stuck onto the tray so it can't be removed but it looks like some of the pieces over at the front have already been sliced and there are some garnishes all around the set too. A lovely item to go along with the cooked ham is the casserole, so it comes in a light pink casserole dish and that's made out of a plastic material and there's a floral design on the side as well. There's handles on either side so it's easy to hold on to and there's a casserole of peas, corns and carrots and the lid can be removed from the set. There are a total of four jars included in the set, so the first item we have here is strawberry jam and the next item is grape jelly. There's some detail on the front with the writing. We also have some kosher relish and some English mustard too. So here we have some ice pops. There's a total of two ice pops, but they're connected together as one. There is a box with some lovely detail on the front, making it look like it is from the 1950s and explains that the ice pops are orange flavored. This item is also for the freezer and it is an ice cube tray. It's really great because the handle lifts the ice cubes so you're able to see what they look like. There are a total of three TV dinner sets. There is a macaroni and cheese set, a chicken set, and a beef set, and they all come with a cardboard box to match. Here we have a stand and there's two TV dinners, one on either side. It's really great because the attachment holds the tables in place, but they're very easy to remove. I'm going to remove both of them from either side so we're able to set them up. So right now the tables are flat, but they're very easy to set up. What you do is you open up the top part of the table and there's an attachment at the bottom and you just have to clip it in place and then it should be able to stay like so. So just to give you an idea of the sizing of the set, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the TV dinners and I'll place them on top. And as you can see, it does fit really nicely and there's probably enough room over to the side to add the soda too. The main feature of the set is definitely the refrigerator itself. So it's a gorgeous light pink color and we also have some teal designs within the refrigerator too. It's very heavy and really great quality, perfect for the 1950s and it looks so realistic as well. So now it is time to set up the set. There are multiple different compartments to store away all the different items. So this section over to the side is meant to be for the butter. So I'm going to stack them all up like so and they should be able to stay in place. And they all seem to fit, which is great to see. And of course, I'll be adding in a few more items to the freezer as well. So over in the main compartment, I'll be adding in the TV dinners. There's a total of three in the set, but if you had a fourth TV dinner, I'm pretty sure you could probably add it there too. So it's really great how there's plenty of room. And in order for the refrigerator door to close, I need to push all of the TV dinners back so they stay in place. And there should be enough room for the door to close now. And if you try and add something too close to the door, it definitely won't be able to close, but there's some spare room on top of the TV dinner, so I'm going to add the tray there. And as for this last compartment, I'll be adding in the cardboard box with the ice pops inside. The eggs in the refrigerated door are not removable and they're already a part of the set, but right underneath I'm going to be adding in the milk, there's a total of two. We'll also be adding the relish and the mustard and there's not enough room to add any more jars, so I'm going to be adding one of the sodas. There's quite a bit of room within the refrigerator itself to add multiple items, so I've just added the two jars right over to the back, the strawberry jam and the grape jelly as well. And over to the other side, I'll be adding in the casserole dish, and then right underneath we have the cooked ham. Since I do want to add a few more items to the shelf, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the cooked ham forward and I'll be moving it over to the side, and then I'll just add the gelatin dessert right next to it. And then over to the other side, I'll be adding in the different sodas, so there's a total of three leftovers since I already added one to the fridge door. 
And all I need to do is add that last soda and the refrigerator setup is officially complete. There is another compartment to add fruits and vegetables, but I don't actually have any of that included in the set, so I won't be adding that today. And overall, I would definitely recommend Mary Ellen's refrigerator and food set. It definitely comes with some really great items and the refrigerator itself is really great quality too. So I hope opening and reviewing these different products helped you in deciding what you'd like to purchase on your next shopping trip. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.